So this channel is dedicated to metal. I talk a lot about metal, and let's just say that it consumes me in many ways, but another scene that I'm very adjacent in and really adopt a lot of the beliefs from are the hardcore punk, punk, and screamo post-hardcore adjacent scenes. A lot of my favorite bands, a lot of the people that I've looked up to in the past or have a lot of similar thought processes towards come from that scene, sometimes even more than metalheads. I've always related a lot to their worldview, how they approach things, and it kind of got me thinking, what what are the differences between the metalhead bitches and the punk bitches? So strap yourselves in, whether you're a metalhead that wants to kill people with a sword or you're wanting to just go get high with the punk kids, let's go. And just start using more props in videos, I feel like that's fucking funny. So I come from a predominantly metal background. I have always grown up surrounded with metalheads, specifically extreme metalheads and metalcore fans. I think that's an interesting perspective because so much of the time, metalcore people and metalcore like aficionados overlap a lot with punk fans in their demeanor and it's solely because metalcore is part hardcore punk and I think a lot of people forget that. I think it's one reason that a lot of elitists and purebloods like to sort of talk down to the notion that metalcore isn't real metal because it has so much punk in it but that's a whole nother thing. I think a lot of people just talk down to metalcore and deathcore because they don't like it and they just want an excuse to not fucking like it. From my experience, punk fans tend to be a lot more tolerant and open-minded than metalheads. This has always been something I've noticed from just frequenting online spaces and seeing how punk fans interact with people. Just how they view the world, how they view music, how they view genres, and how you're supposed to approach it has much more of a free-spirited thing. And most of the time, they tend to be on the more liberal side. And this is, of course, a generalization because if you look at the punk scene, there are plenty of skinheads. But in the grand scheme of things, I think that metal is more diverse, punk is a little bit more homogenous, but simultaneously somehow more open-minded than a lot of metalheads are. What exactly do I mean by that? Metalheads come from all sides of the spectrum, and of course punk fans do too, but metalheads when it comes to their genres, when it comes to the way that they view the world, are literally going to get everything in terms of diversity of opinions, of beliefs, of skin colors, of genders, of sexualities, whatever it may be. You are going to see just about anything if you go to like a larger scale metal show or even a DIY thing. Whereas punk fans tend to be a little bit more insulated. The scenes that come from like skateboarder culture or specifically like DIY screamo and post hardcore scenes, it's usually a birds of a feather flock together sort of thing. You see a lot of like vegan anarchists and just anarchists in general or much more liberal and progressive sort of people who are heavily politicized and that just comes from punk as a whole. Punk from its foundation was always a heavily politicized genre and it was always something that stood for revolution, that stood for counterculture, and to this day that is still felt in every sense of the word, with a lot of the people that adopt it nowadays going against a lot of the bigotry and ignorance and blissful shit that happens in the world, specifically in the western world, but by the same token they can get very fired up if you come outside and try to infiltrate with some sort of other opinion, and I'm not going to say that punk fans are close-minded politically, but I definitely think that they have sort of this mentality that if you are against them then you are outright going to be someone that is an assailant and someone that has to be converted in some way and by no means is this a bad thing like I said I agree a lot more with punk shit than I do metal shit a lot of times I think that there's nothing wrong with being very impassioned in your belief system and your morality and what you believe to be right and if you truly want to push that agenda and narrative that is completely on you and more power to you that goes for metalheads too but if we're gonna flip the negativity a little bit punk fans are not nearly as triggered little snowflakes as so many metalheads are. Okay, while yes, punk fans tend to be a little close-minded politically, depending on who you're talking to, and once again, that's a generalization, don't come at me, metalheads just get their panties in a bunch over anything. That isn't actually this genre. This genre isn't metal. You need to be more of an elitist. You are a poser. You're not true cult. You don't look the part. You don't fit in. You're not allowed here. You're what's ruining the scene are all things that metalheads love to hear on a day-to-day -day basis. No one hates a metalhead more than another metalhead and all the senseless bickering is always something that is a staple and a hallmark and most of the time it boils down to it's not really about constructive productive discussion. It's usually just pointless arguments, a bunch of narcissists 
narcissistic ass wipes pretty much. Which kind of goes hand in hand with the thing that even though punk fans can be a little insulated politically, most of the time, if you fuck with the scene, if you enjoy the music, you are accepted regardless of who or what you are or even what you believe in the grand scheme of things. Metalheads are some of the chillest people ever. They get a bad reputation and I've went over a lot of the stereotypes and cliches that are attached to metalheads, but with that being said, there is a lot of infighting. There is a lot of gatekeeping. There is a lot of purism and there specifically is a lot of people that like to put people in boxes, label them, and make little criterias in their heads of who is allowed and who isn't, why, and what constitutes being allowed into the cool kids club. You don't usually see this a lot of times with like hardcore punk fans because most of the time they're enjoying the music and kind of going hand in hand with the snowflake thing. Hardcore punk and punk fans don't fucking care about crowd killing. They're not going to get triggered if they get punched in the face. It is part of the culture. It's part of the respect of it. And they're not going to get their panties in a bunch if you go around crowd killing someone or if you punch someone in the face or whirlwind spinning tornado crane kick them through the fucking sky. If anything, they're probably going to come up, give a thumbs up with a broken tooth and a broken nose and their fucking blood vessels popping out of their eyes and tap you on the back and be like, let's fucking go. That's kind of punk culture and it's one of those things you either understand or you don't. Punk in a lot of ways is what the metal scene used to be. Punk in many ways never lost its roots for being a place for outcasts and pariahs and black sheeps who were turned away by people. Metal kind of lost the plot along the way. Metal was supposed to be that. It always was that. It was counterculture. It was aggressive. It was rebellion. But similarly to how punk really went against the status quo and brought in people that were politically charged, that were upset with the system, that were upset politically and didn't have families that gave a shit about them, weren't able to fit in with usual friends and so they made this little community. Metal was that initially but it sort of changed over time and I attribute a lot of this to how metal has gotten more popular throughout the decades, more normalized and people have become more desensitized and obviously the internet and the social media age plays a massive role in that because people have the anonymity. They have the shield and the cloak of darkness to be able to say whatever the fuck they want to, a bunch of keyboard warriors running their hands online, they can get away with just about anything and metalheads are notoriously some of the most confrontational people. While pop punk is certainly a thing and I'm not going to discredit the 2000s like emo and pop punk scene because those were a lot of the bands that I grew up with. I loved, I fucked heavily with like the scene metalcore era and the post hardcore and emo scene. So those were the bands like I was a 2000s and 2010s kid. So that was what I grew up with and what I looked up to in the bands that I frequented the most. At the end of the day, punk and hardcore punk and screamo, generally speaking, if you're talking about the true blue approach, stayed pretty DIY, stayed pretty homogenous. It felt still like a community and it didn't feel like this larger statement to have to fight each other on what was right, what wasn't. Now with that being said, there definitely were a lot of punk fans that didn't think a lot of what happened in the 2000s was true punk. The pop punk scene got disavowed routinely and especially things like emo and post hardcore, depending on what you're talking about, unless you were like Fugazi, definitely got a lot of shit. So all of like the Pierce the Veils and Sleeping with Sirens and Hawthorne Heights and like all the pop punk bands that came about in the 2000s, they weren't getting the same sort of thing as like an Orchid or a Page 99. And that kind of went hand in hand with punk becoming this thing that was more about looks than it was the culture, but it's still alive and thriving. If anything, I think there's been kind of this resurgence of a lot of bands that are revitalizing the style. There's always going to be a shit ton of great punk and hardcore punk and post-punk bands. The attitude of that isn't going away, but when you see bands like See You Space Cowboy bursting on the scene with that sort of DIY approach despite getting bigger, it really does give me a lot of faith and hope that that's not dead. But metal isn't bad in any form or fashion. There are a lot of positives compared to a punk outlook when you are a metalhead. You usually can look whatever the fuck you want to look like. There are so many genres to choose from. There are so many offshoots. There is literally a community and a micro label and genre for just about anyone if you are a metalhead. If you like a specific style of music, chances are you are going to get that. If politicism and heavy politicism in your music isn't your type of thing, that can also be a plus. And most of the time, 
time, metalheads are pretty open-minded to just about anything, even through all the elitism and gatekeeping. And if you are not wanting something that is always so serious and charged up and infernic, maybe punk isn't your sort of thing. With that being said, I want to know what your guys' opinions are. What do you think the differences are between metalheads and punk fans? You can let me know down in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear it. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is? My name is Jay Morris and I'm signing off saying farewell.